here planning for the Seven Islands Festival, which is happening soon. My name is Suraj, I'm a DJ, music producer, sound engineer. And um, first of all, I'm really happy that um, a partnership like this has happened. It gives uh, myself and so many other artists another, another platform. Um, my name is Aniko Chaldi and uh, my partner is Suraj Dylan, as well as Papa Remo team, Christina, Christian. And uh, we're here planning for the Seven Islands Festival, which is happening soon. Uh, the Seven Islands Festival was conceived in a bid to revive the local economy of Kilifi County, uh, in particular Watamu and Malindi, because uh, we found ourselves at a time where we had to adapt to the current situation that we've been put in and that has affected our current expertise. So the Seven Islands Festival uh, is supposed to promote the local community as well as local artists in partnership with international arts at some point. And this is vital for us because we see it as an exchange of uh, creation, arts all over Africa and yeah. So we had to find something that would bring all artists together as well as the general crowd to give them something very different, something creative and uh, here we are today. Is it a way of promoting uh, uh, the economy and tourism at large? Well, I would say it's a nexus, or rather a bridge between the local economy, uh, which involves the business community, involves the local, direct local community of the hotels, and as well as the government, because the government, as we know, we have the curfew situation, and uh, for the festival we're adhering to the Ministry of Health guidelines, and that's why we chose seven islands, because of the space Paparemo has seven islands, it's open air, and uh, we kept it limited. So it's a whole partnership between everyone. How, how bad uh, do you think the uh, economy has been affected, especially uh, in this part of the Kenya? Well, it's been affected quite a lot, considering that Watamu is a town, a small town that depends on the tourism economy. So for us, at Seven Islands, we figured, okay, through uh, local tourism, which is domestic tourism, even across East Africa, okay, then we can actually um, help the economy that is here right now. This is home for me, so I start with Mumbani. My name is Suraj, I'm a DJ, music producer, sound engineer and um, first of all I'm really happy that um, a partnership like this has happened. It gives uh, myself and so many other artists another plan, not only make money but uh, express ourselves during times like these. So I think um, we, we all have to come together, uh, the hotel industry, the local community, flights, everybody has to come together to try and revive this economy and we're thinking locally, so we're trying to see how we can attract a local market as much as possible. Come on, Sani, let them know who in America can have Malian and how America to what levels? Economically, that is. Since COVID, yeah. Yeah, I think um, it goes without saying how um, the entertainment industry's jobs were cut overnight. Uh, no, no artist or no company saw this coming. So it it was from like a hundred to zero so uh, it was a, a steep stop but I think it's like just trying to revive ourselves locally and see what else we can do to get out there yeah uh, and what do you think uh, the government should uh, do for you as an uh, artist? I mean to be very honest with you the government have uh, I think they're accommodating as much as possible but um, at the same time we also have to understand that uh, it's a worldwide pandemic so we also can't overlook the fact that we need to have social distancing and curfew. So for us, we are just adhering to all the rules and um, trying to create the best experience with the time that we have. However, I think um, the government can try and help support the, this industry as well as the hotel industry, restaurants, um, the, lo the local music and nightlife industry thrives at night. So. Again, that was also a huge step in us not being able to work. Um, it cut down the hours of um, of work, the working hours. So I think um, when you put two and two together, it just makes sense that you don't have that amount of time to make that money that you used to make before. And also, the fact that we cannot travel so easily also makes it very hard. Um, yeah. May I ask you? 
there's almost like a COVID fatigue, eh? yes. not just here, yeah. just worldwide. Yeah. Worldwide, yeah. Because it was fascinating at the start, and everybody was like, you know, <laughs> the Black Death is all the peak yeah. of the medieval ages. So, in a very honest way, um, is this festival like not just a defiance, but a sort of like a let's get back to life festival? I and think. Do you think that that's a good thing? I mean, we've been very cautious. Yes. But on the street, Kenyans are tired. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I won't speak for the white, but I think people are tired. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they are. And you, the the one thing, the one thing that I think uh, usually people like to say is that um, prevention is better than cure. So I think it's just about being responsible with whatever you have. And I understand about COVID fatigue, and I, to a degree, even, even I'm tired of, of COVID, but at the same time, you also have to respect the fact that there's so many people who have lost their lives, and there's so many people who continue to lose their lives. So I think it's our social responsibility to try and get back to normal, try and make your money, but at the same time, try and also accommodate the fact that there's a worldwide pandemic going on. So I think it's just finding the right balance between everything. Kenyans want to, to go back to normal. To, to the normal uh, life, uh, the cases of uh, the vaccine. What do you think they have to be done? So that the, the government uh, uh, speed up and uh, making sure that uh, everybody has the vaccine so that people can go back to their normal life? Yes, I think um, the government is trying as hard as they can, I'm sure, uh, about getting the vaccines into the country. But at the same time, we also have to understand there's so many other countries who are affected worse. Um, like South Africa, but I think uh, we all want the vaccine to get here so we can all get back to like normal. Yeah, go back to normal. So um, everyone's waiting for the vaccine. So am I. Yes. Is it like a big good fear factor? Because we're in a beautiful way. Absolutely. Place. Yeah. I think um, the, w the most important thing is to actually complement this beautiful surrounding that we have. So trying to trying to keep to social distancing and trying to be as responsible as possible. But yes, at the same time, this is the driving factor for this festival.